dark of eich iawn. Mae wastad yn pleser i anech cynhadledd y plaid. Ond heddiw dwi'n hynod o fawr chi siarad eich chi yma yn llanellu yn anpatchen i yn hunan. Dyn ni'n barod wedi cael gair o croeso gan emlyn dôl ar waenydd cyngor Sir Gaer, ble mae grŵp y blaid yn barod yn neu cymaint o gwahaniaeth mewn amser mor anodd. Hoffwn ni cymryd y cyfle i ddiolch ei emlyn ar grŵp am popeth maen nhw wedi wneud, dwi'n gweld llawer ohono chi yn y stafell yma, diolch yn fawr iawn i chi gyd. Estyn croeso cynnes iawn i chi gyd i cynhadledd y blaid, i lle sydd yn arbennig iawn ac yn arbennig iawn, iawn i mi. Wrth i mi paratoi i siarad i chi heddiw, dwi wedi bod yn meddwl nôl i'r tro cyntaf i fi ymlyd y tholiad yma, bron dain a ymlynedd yn ôl. Doedd yn ni ddim yn dod o'r ardal yn greiddio, a'n cael ddechrau ymgylch yn 98, doedd yn ni ddim wir yn nabod y lle yn dda. Ond o ar ôl y cydig o wythnosau, roedd pethau'n gwahanol iawn. Roedd yn ni wedi dechrau dod i nabod cymuned o cymunedau, fel oedd yr anwyl Dr. Phil Williams ar arfer disgrifio Gymru gyfan. Cymuned o cymunedau oedd yn wynebu clodi, dioddau sgil y ffeithiau creu londeb Thatcher, a rein i flaen yr ymgylch i cadw iaith Cymraeg yn iaith byw, iaith cymunedol. Cymunedau oedd yr ymateb i'r holl problemau mewn ffyrdd positif a creadigol. Pobl oedd wrth gweld isiw yn mynd ati i ffynd o ffordd i'w datrys. Yn aml iawn, yn wyneb llywodraethau a pobl pwerus, oedd yn dangos ar yr orau, diffyg ddiddordeb ac ar y gweithiau yn rhoi rhwystrau yn y ffordd. Des i i adnygu yn fawr ddewrde pobl llanellu a gwendraeth, a'i hiwma, a'i ffordd onest a'r goled o trafod. Cyplysu hwn i gyd gyda treithia a golwg feidd hynod o hardd, a'r castell gorau Cymru, sef yn cydweli, mae ddrwg yn ei cynarfon o'n cydweli yn gorau fi, dim syndod, ffindes i fy hunan, yn syrthio mewn cariad a lle, gyda awydd mawr yn fyngharol, i yncytrefu yma, ac fel cynrychiolydd yn y cynulliad, i cael cyfle i cefnogi o holl pobl oedd yn gweithio mor galed i gwneud gwahaniaeth. And it was my privilege to be given that opportunity in 1999. And I was so proud as Llanelli's AM to support so many powerful community campaigns. To just give a, a couple of examples of, in the field of health. Just as I was elected in 1999, the bureaucrats in the then Health Trust announced that, despite many promises, they would not find the funds to staff the hospice that the community had raised hundreds of thousands of pounds to build and equip. A state-of-the-art facility they expected us to leave empty. Well, we were not having that. We won't, we phoned. I argued with the then First Minister, Alan Michael, which was a bit like arguing with a wet flannel, but I did my best. <laughs> We threatened legal action, and we won. Our hospice continues to provide state-of-the-art palliative care, with the NHS providing the core staffing and the community fundraising to support that work. Over a period of almost 10 years, I worked side by side with the amazing ladies of the Breast Care Support Group, the surgeon Mr Holt and his clinical team, to successfully persuade the Welsh Government to invest £6.6 .6 million in a brand new breast care centre at our hospital, where patients from all over West Wales and beyond receive outstanding care, with again the community fundraising to support. And, while I represented Llanelli in our assembly, we fought successfully to protect our accident and emergency services. The community stood firm, Plaid made protecting Llanelli's hospital services a key condition to supporting the One Wales government. And now? Well, the accident emergency service is all but gone. We have instead this uh, new front of house development, which is all very well, and may be, as a resident said to me on the doorstep the other day, better than nothing. Well, I can tell you, conference, that if I'm elected as AM for Llanelli in May, I won't be settling for services for our communities that are better than nothing.
health service is struggling. 6,324 operations were cancelled in our hospital alone in the last two and a half years. 6,324 patients, our fellow citizens, left in pain due to lack of staff, lack of equipment, lack of beds. And staff are at the end of their tethers. You may see them smiling in photo opportunities with the Labour Health Minister, but when I meet them on the doorstep in the supermarket, it's a different story. Overwork, stress and anger about not being able to care for their patients in the way that they've been trained to. Experienced, caring professionals seriously considering quitting the profession altogether. Labour is letting our health service down, staff and patients. Staff are doing their best, but they need support. Plight has practical costed policies that would bring 150 extra healthcare professionals to the Llanelli area, break down the barriers between health and care, and free staff from pointless bureaucracy. We can, only Plight can, deliver the change our health service needs. undoubtedly took a battering in the 80s, but we have fought back. When the economy crashed in 2008, I worked hard to ensure that Shaleshi firms would benefit from the ProAct and REACT schemes that Plaid brought in under the One Wales Government, investing for the future and helping companies keep staff on and retrain them instead of having to let them go. I was so pleased to visit a couple of weeks ago one of the companies supported at that time, Calsonic Kansai. Supported by a committed workforce and an innovative management, government support at the right time, there are now twice as many people working there in a manufacturing plant as there were in 2008. And during that time, business rates were cut for some of our small businesses to help them through tough times. But now our economy is stuck. The value of exports from Wales has fallen by £2.6 billion pounds in the last two years. There are great companies that are bucking that trend, but it's not good enough. Where has our Labour government been in all that time? Plaid in government will set up a new Welsh development agency to drive Welsh sales abroad. We'll establish a new National Commission on Infrastructure, Railways, Roads, Broadband, and that will ensure that companies all over Wales can compete fairly. And we will take thousands of small businesses out of business rates altogether, which, with the major investment that Plaid councillors in Carmarthenshire are already delivering, will make a huge difference, for example, to traders in our market in Llanelli. Conference. Back in our history, Llanelli was a great generator of wealth. Our people gave their strength, their health, and often our beautiful natural environment, mostly to fill the pockets of others. Now is the time to harness all that energy, all that creativity that is in our communities to create wealth that can transform the future for us all. It is possible, it is necessary, and the time to elect a government to make it happen is now, a Plaid Cymru government. I hope to be there to ensure once again that Llanelli gets its fair share. I hope to be part of that team that will be delivering the change our economy needs. This part of Wales has a track record of making history, of believing in a future for Wales. Perhaps it's going a bit far back to refer to the Welsh men and women who opened the gates of Kidwelly Castle to Glyndwr, might be stretching it a bit, but for certain in 1996, in, in 1966, 50 years ago, Carmarthenshire elected Gwynwar Evans, Plaid Cymru's first MP, sending shockwaves through the British establishment as the voice of Wales was raised once again. And for certain, it was the votes of the people of Carmarthenshire that delivered the yes vote in the 1997 referendum that gave us our first democratic forum for Wales for all its faults, our own, our own assembly. This year, we have the opportunity to make history again. I'm asking the people of Llanelli 
to give me the opportunity once again to serve our communities, to help harness all the energy and commitment that is in those communities, to build the future that we all deserve, but more. I'm asking the people of Llanelli and the people of Wales to take a bold step and elect a government that believes in Wales, a government that is ambitious for Wales, a government that has a vision of our future as a nation and then practical plans to deliver that vision. Wales first, Plaid Cymru government. <laughs> Friends, for far too long we have lived under governments that have held us back and kept us down. Tacitly accepting that poverty in Wales is somehow inevitable and accepting that it is okay to provide us with public services that are better than nothing. Enough is enough. No more. We need to wake up on May the 6th to a new government, a government that can deliver the change that Wales needs. And I believe with all my heart that if we all do all that we can in the next 62 days, we will wake up on May the 6th with our leader, my friend Leanne Wood, as our First Minister. It really is the time to change Wales' needs.